TEJ4M. Here are more three variable Karnoff maps. So I'm going to be doing this uh, with the two cameras. <coughs> Here's an example. So this would be uh, more three variable Karnoff maps. So I've got T equals A naught, B naught, C naught, ordered with A naught, B, ordered with A, B, C naught, ordered with A, C. So we could do a trace table. We could do a, a, a truth table to show all the values of Z. Or we could use a Karnoff map uh, to simplify it and then check to see if our, trace or if our truth table is correct. But let's do the, the Karnoff map. So remember, uh, we're going to have A with the rows and then BC in the columns. So there's only two possibilities for A, 0 and 1, but there's four possibilities for B and C. And we want to make <coughs> B and C the values uh, follow gray codes. So we have 0, 0 followed by 0, 1. And because we can only change one bit at a time with gray codes, the only possibility here is 1, 1. Then we have 1, 0. Finally, 1, 0. And now we'll match everything up. So A naught, B naught, C naught is represented by, uh, well, this is like A naught, this is like A, this is like B naught and C naught and so forth. I'll do all of them for now. B, C, B, C naught. It's not required you do that. It might help you determine which cell you're filling in. So that, that's the one for the first term. For the second term, it's A naught, B. But how do we do that when a naught and b, I mean, what's a going to be? So we're going to expand this out to b. Or w what should c be, I should say? So we know we have a naught b, but what kind of, how can we turn this into a term that involves c for it still to be true? And the answer is just c or c naught. If we uh, multiply it by c or c naught in brackets, it's going to be the same thing because C or C naught uh, simplifies to 1. So if we and something with 1, we don't change it. So the result here will be A naught B C or A naught B C naught. So this is going to be, so basically when you have A naught B and you're, you're avoiding or you, you don't have the third variable there or one of the variables, You'll fill it in for both of the, both the knotted and the non-negated uh, version of the variable that's not shown, which is just a fancy way of saying uh, this. So we have a not b. This is a not b, and this is a not b. We're going to fill both of them in, and that's equivalent to the second term. Then we have a b c not. So a b c not. A. B, C naught. So there's a 1 there. That's for the third term. In the fourth term, it's A, C. So here's A and here's C. These two are both C. We're going to fill both of them in. And I can show that to you why. So if I take A, C, that expands. If, if I want to expand this, I can use with a B. It's equivalent to this. And then when we expand it, you'll see it's A, B, C or with A, B naught, C which are th these two uh, cells. Everything else will be a zero. It's just the, the other two are zeros. All right, so our next goal, our goal here now will be to uh, do our best. We want to have the minimum number of, of groupings possible while circling uh, all of the ones. So with this one, and we can only use powers of two. Uh, we want to group the ones in powers of two. So we can have two ones, four ones, eight ones, etc. This one here, it, it, it's going to have to be a wraparound case. Remember, we can't do diagonal. So I know that we're going to have to do wraparound. And I can wrap around with this one. I can't do both of them because that would be three. So it has to be just these two. There's a grouping. Uh, this one here is going to have to be grouped with uh, the one next to it. We can't group it with this one as well because that would be three and that would not 
be a grouping uh, of a power of two. So it has to be these two. And then finally, uh, we've got these two diagonal ones, but we can do a grouping of four to include everything. So yes, there's some overlap and that's okay, but this is the, the least number of groupings while maintaining everything in groups of two. So what do we have? Um, over here we have A naught, B naught, C naught, grouped with A naught, B, C naught. So the B's, B and B naught cancels out. We're left with A naught, C naught. And we'll do this grouping of two down here and then I'll go do the grouping of four. So we have for this A, B naught, C, and A, B, C. So the B's cancel again. We're left with A, C. And uh, I've got my camera at a weird angle here because the laptop that has the camera on it is off to the side. Uh, because I've got to show you my setup here. I've got a microphone. I've got s something holding the cell phone up there. And uh, not as much space on the table as I'd like. But this is working out okay. Um, and if you wanted to see my bald head, you can see it. All right, so let's go on. Uh, this is going to be on YouTube. Okay, A naught, B, C. And A naught, uh, this is the grouping of four now. So we've got A naught, B, C. And we've got A naught, B, C naught. And then we have A, B, C. And finally, A, B, C naught. There's an equal number of C's and C naughts, so those cancel. Equal number of A's and A naughts, so we're left with just B. So our final expression is T equals. And if you did this correctly, you won't be able to simplify it anymore. Um, I'll put the uh, A, C first, A naught, C naught second, and then followed by B. So that's uh, simplified. And if we consider any of the 20 or so Boolean algebra rules that we know, I don't think we'll be able to simplify that down any further. Here's the last example I want to do with you. So in this case, we have T equals A naught B or B C naught or B C or A B naught C naught. So using the, the table, we have A B C got 0, 1, 0, 0, following gray codes. Oops. There was a staple on that page. All right. I've got my, my answer worked out from last year, and I'm just looking at that to make sure that I copy out the question properly. So we're going to uh, say A naught B. Um, so each one of these can be expanded. So with the A naught, this, this zero here for A represents A naught. And then the B, we want a regular B. So we want the one, this, is this first uh, digit represents B. So these two are going to represent B. We don't know what C is, but we know that if we put C or C naught, we would expand it out to include both of these. So whenever it's missing one of the variables in three variable Karnoff maps, just... Um, fill in both of them. So I'm filling in C for 1 and for 0. And there's a better explanation of that in the previous example if you need to go and look at that again. B, C naught. So we have B, so 1, and then C naught. So we're looking at these two columns for the second term. <coughs> because, sorry, uh, B and C naught, B, C naught, my mistake, B, C naught, we're looking at these two cells that are above each other, right? B, C naught. So we're going to fill in, <coughs> if we were to expand this, and I'll do that, this would be like A or A, A naught, ended with B, C naught, that's equivalent. And when we expand it, we get A, B, C naught, or A naught, B, C naught. And you can see that one of those values is already filled in, A naught, B, C naught. But we also have to fill in this value. Okay, BC. So BC is this column here. We've already got one of the values filled in, so we only have to fill in the, the bottom one. 
and you can expand that out to see that that's correct. If there's already a one in one of the locations, you don't have to put another one in there. It just means that there is a one already in that location. And then finally, A, A, B, C naught, so right there. All right, so easy grouping here, four. There's four there, but we have to group this one with something with the power of two, so we'll do that one, and we'll just group it with that one because we know no matter what, the minimal number of groupings is going to be two. There's no way we could have one grouping that includes everything. Two must be the next best. So now we'll write them on top of each other, A, B, naught, C, naught. I'll do the grouping of two first, A, B, C, naught. So the B's, B, B naught cancels. We're left with A, C naught. And then with the grouping of four, we have A naught, B, C, A naught, B, C, A naught, B, C naught, A, B, C, and then A, B, C naught. So we end up with an equal number of C's and C naughts cancel. Equal number of A's and A naughts cancel. We're left with B. So therefore, T equals A, C naught, or B. And that's the last example I wanted to cover.